journey with us as we carry you behind the scenes of the Grace Carried Me Here photo shoot. Let's, Let's go! go. Do you know why we are here? Can you see any hints or clues as to a location that we would have visited before? This actual location has a lot of memories to it. If, I mean, it says a picture tells a thousand words and this has a lot to do with a few thousand words. Listen more.
Welcome back to a day in the life of the foster triplets. Today we bring you a special episode. Yes, of behind the scenes. Yes, and this pertains to our album yes. because the photo shoot, you know, culminates or or, or, or spurs a very special um, story. Story. Yes. yes. And so we are here to bring you behind the scenes and show you exactly what went on when we were taking the photos for our new album Grace, Grace Carried Me, Me Here, Here which is being released officially on June 19, 2022 which is Father's, Father's Day. Day. Now look behind us ladies and gentlemen, do you re recognize this path? You might not really recognize it so we'll just tell you where it we are at the moment. We are close by to one of the major attraction sites in Jamaica and it is called Roaring River. River. Yes. Indeed. And we are at, we are at a simple pasture. It looks very simple, mm -hmm. but it also has a very profound message and really helped to bring out what we wanted to bring out in Grace our carried Grace Carried Me Here photo shoots. Yes. Now, if you buy the album, you're going to be seeing a bit of pictures that are quite interesting and I think they tell a great story. Yes, and 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 before we, you know, talk about the picture and you'll be seeing a few of these pictures i want to ask and videos, and videos i want to find out for the the on land part of our photo shoot how did we come up with the idea and who came up with this idea and why did we choose this theme okay first and foremost we were not thinking of going on a horse yes we were thinking of just being surrounded by nature a great pasture you know verdant you know surroundings that's what we wanted and then there happened to be some individuals who had horses. Well, unfortunately, my name is White, but I don't wear white well. Yes, All right, so remember, he works with time, you know. Come, let's go. So the clock is ticking, tick, tick, tick. The horse should be here already. All right, so we're wondering. Everyone, see that? Get the horse to get up now. Right. Whoever should wasn't here, your horse. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Mark Green, you're going to reverse all the way down, you know. Yeah, come here with saddle as well. Saddle? Yeah. So we can get, um, get them on the horse. And we can hold it. Hold the, the, the thing. Lean, lean in. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, that's one of the shots. Wait. That's what to shot. It's gonna happen. And I said to myself, no, 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 no. I'm not trying to put some, tick something off a bucket list that I have. To tell the truth, being in heels and a dress and going on a horse that did not seem like the best course of action to yes. me. And so I thought, you know what, just let's leave it alone, let me stand by this horse. And then I thought, I have always heard the story of um, mom's, mom's, one of mom's students who got kicked by a horse right near the eye. So I thought, you know what, that's not going to be me. Yes. So in fact, um, I'm, uh, I'm afraid of a lot of things. You know, bees, bugs, you know, mostly things that crawl. Mm -hmm. uh, snakes as well. And which we all are. I didn't think that I had a fear of horses, but then I recognized that I was here and the horse was here. <laughs> that was, was a short tall. one. The short one was, you know, tall than the me. taller one was. Let's really not tall. talk about the height. And I was just thinking, imagine if this steps on me and crushes my toes, or if it kicks me. I have, I'm very tiny, so it could break some ribs. Break it could something. break some bones. 
Should I go back? Hold it. Where should we look? Malaika, don't run Malaika, it's all right. Malaika. Malaika, don't Malaika. run, it's all right. He was moving his head, I don't want to restrict him and then he bites me. But then, Mahari went on the horse first. You know, adventurous move. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. She went on the horse first. Mom went on the horse as well, and you'll, you'll see some videos. Mom was, ooh, ooh. Now, if you see mom grimacing a little, you can look carefully at the picture. She's grimacing a little in the picture. Because I think she was scared. scared. You know, it's very interesting how sometimes we are faced with challenges or situations that seem so insurmountable or it's just not me or it's too difficult. It, it takes us out of our comfort zone. I'm saying this because when the photographer says, um, Mrs. Fossa, I want you to go on the, on the horse, I said, <laughs> me, a horse? Um, my, look at my dress and I'm giving him all the different reasons and I said you know what happened I'm going to do it I'm going to do it and while I'm going up on the horse I'm saying oh my goodness I, I, I just I have an imaginative mind so I start reading headlines immediately <laughs> and then I went on it but in mounting the horse I said you know I have to have a plan I worked out the plan with Marquin. I said, Marquin, if you hear me making a certain sound, it means that I'm, going, I'm falling off and I'm going to jump on your back. So be prepared to catch me. Sitting on top of that majestic horse, it felt scary, but at the same time, it felt liberating and exciting. And it's the same thing with the journey, that for, for our journeys at different times. Sometimes we're afraid to broach something and in the process of doing it, we realize, ah, this is good. It wasn't so bad after all. Sometimes you just have to take certain risks. I'm, not talk, I'm talking about calculated risks now. Risks as you travel on the path of life. When you know that you have God and you can hear him speaking clearly to you, as to the road that you should take it's not going to be easy but take the risk because he always takes care of his people he always ha he has a plan in store for us so we just have to trot in it by faith come on there let's go at that point i realized i had to face my fear now I have a bucket list. I want to go horse riding. I want to go zip lining. Oh, that was on your bucket all the, list. All the good stuff. <laughs> and then when it comes to and then the when moment, it came to the moment, it was very. I, I I decided that it was a bad idea. There was one horse that was particularly stubborn, so we wanted to turn the horses, um, their their faces towards each other. Right. But it the the horse had a lot of personality. It, it could not be bought or sold. It could not be told what to do. So it kind of stuck its legs in. And that's why we had a, a bit of an issue. We were supposed to walk with the horse. Oh, look, look, a man goose. How cute. Anyway, so, <laughs> you're, it's fine. So, so at that moment, um, after Mahari went on the horse, I decided it would be remiss of me to lose this grand opportunity to go on the horse. And at that and point, at that point, Michaela decided that she'd go on the horse as well. So we had two brave people, mm -hmm. so two brave indeed. individuals. We both braved it. Two, two of them can go on the horse? Yeah. Oh. oh. One and one and one and one yes, on the other. Yes. Okay. I'll go on the horse. Malaika and Michaela, you want to go on the horse? No, that's the last shot and then we'll go to the river. Okay. Malaika and Mahari and Michaela. Mahari was on already. Why not Mahari and Michaela this time? She's staying in the middle. Remember, we're going to look and balance on the horse because when she sits, she's taller. Okay. This one is shorter though. Yeah, so I she's like okay because she's on the shorter one. Okay. Kelly say me. I'm laughing when she said me. Okay. 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 Okay.
When you come to the adventure one, do you know? Yeah? Make fun of the body of your own. Okay, yeah, that looks, that looks interesting. What? We did it at, we did it at jam with. Yeah. Sit straight. Okay, then I'll just tell Mikael if you sit straight, for sure. Okay, this is not so bad. That doesn't start moving. Just don't stay where I want to. Hold on to what? I think you're probably standing around. Turn inside this, turn around. Turn my light on. Turn on to that. Just hold sideways, don't just go back. Sit sideways like you're sitting. That's right, because you don't want to drop back. So then you can get the two horses as close as possible. And then she hold the boat of them. Right. Take your time. Catch them, Mahari. Mark and watch my Malaika. Relax, relax, relax. Get closer to my Malaika, that's in the event of anything. Hold on, Malaika. Right, just hold on, just hold on. Just hold on. You said you wanted to dive. Stop, right here, stop. Diversify experience. Okay, I record the course. Breathe. Ah, quick. Wait, 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 wait. Lean forward. Lean this way. Lean this, Mahari. If the car, Mahari, if the horse are going that way, Mahari, lean forward. Malaika, lean forward. Mom, her name is Malaika. Lean that way. Just say it. Leave her alone. We should figure it out. Figure it out. Yeah, yes, you know. Figure it out. That is just going to make her more agitated, right. mom. You know. Figure it out. Mom, remember yeah. when you were teaching Malaika to drive her, how you just agitated the situation? Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> figure it out. Ah, right there, right there, right here. All right. All right. Good going, Malaika. You did good great job. Right, I'm Malaika. Alright, put that out of the box. Here, yeah, come out of the box. Quick, come out of the shot. Looking at me right at the center right here. Perfect. Right, Mahari, like, smile. See? My feet is out here. <laughs> Dad. No, I'm trying to control this one. Perfect. 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 Now I'm trying to control this one. Perfect. Mahari. 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 Right here. Ignore one the more. horse. We, oh, both made we also have to mention at this area we are right beside the road yes. I think that will show you a shot of that but we had an audience yes we are very private individuals we're very private individuals we're quite so, shy at times so, so we had people stopping by and sticking their heads in. out and you know it was a whole it was a bit uncomfortable it was a whole affair but it was it was it was funny at the same time it was uncomfortable but it was funny because people would s slow down and then they'd come reverse. And a then they stopped. A triplet! <laughs> so we had quite the audience. Anyway, Someone just stopped just now. So. Right. <laughs> so it's happening again. Yes. Let's and I remember, I remember going on the horse. Just from my personal opinion, you'll see the video of me on the horse. You'll hear a couple shrieks as well. But um, from my, what was going on inside my head, I was thinking, I'm, the horse is about to get away with me. It's about to gallop straight down the pasture it's about to run across the road i'm going to fall off and probably break some bones and we prop and we already had mom's story to to, to uh, rely on because mom went on a donkey once and it got away with and her. it got away because she didn't remember which one was to stop or go it it, it was between brack and Scooey. and Scooey. Mm -hmm. and mom didn't remember if brack was to go and Scooey was to stop or, or mom, vice which, versa. which way was which way it was, it? was brack remember? to go and Scooey to stop or was Scooey to go and brack to stop what was it um? Rack and Scooey mean all right you need to go but when I want him to stop I just say <laughs> <laughs> So I guess fear took over. I'm sorry. <laughs> I could not do that. Like <laughs> and the donkey kept going. Okay, so I wanted to speak. Mom, you could come in and share with them the inspiration for this part of of the un the this unland of the photo shoot, photo shoot. Unland photo shoot. which know, was unland. originally we were not supposed to be in a path yes we were supposed to be in a pasture maybe like over there where it's just where's the cow the cows graze but what i found is that we stopped here and it's like the, the holy spirit was saying this was the place this path grace carried me here do you notice that the path is long very long which means that we would have to be walking all this way here right which means we would have been tired from the sun there might have been things that that um, happened to us along the way but we got to this part there's still a way to go right 
but we have gotten to this place in the journey and we are thanking the Lord for carrying us here. His grace has carried us here. And as you have, you might have seen, there were baskets in the photo as well. These baskets, do you know, in the olden days, mm -hmm. well, back in the days where I was not even alive. Developing eyelids or anything, right? There were, um, when people used to go to church, they used to carry their baskets. lunch in baskets and cover it, you know? And, and walk with it, you know, there were, there, um, motor vehicles were not as rampant back then, only the right. higher class or, you know, it was very, very few and far between. Right. So people used to walk. To different places and that's in our Jamaican culture yes I'd say they'd, they'd use more instead of horses they used to use donkeys a lot but we thought to upgrade it a little bit and to my surprise and my absolute terror we upgraded to horses and when we did upgrade to horses I had to brave that fear and we did mm -hmm. through that experience so this was is, is that your dog no oh that's my not goodness. my dog oh. I didn't cute. realize a dog just passed. So you might might have heard um, the cow just mooing, mooing yes. just now. So it's quite a very uh, and it's a very it's very real. Very and I think real. that the baskets also are synonymous with Grace carried me here, um, just showing something from the past, showing just that progression of time and that mm -hmm. journey. Um, that 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 has carried you to this, this point, point this juncture you know so a lot of times I think it when was we, fitting sorry a lot of times when we think of how grace has carried us we're supposed to be on a mountaintop we're supposed to be fully out of this scenario you know, hallelujah, out of the situation we hallelujah there's no more trouble we're fine it's okay you know but at the same time when we think of grace grace is a thing that has accompanied us since birth and it's a continuous it's a continuous process. affair it's a continuous process so we think we thought when we were we were posing for these pictures it meant something and we, that's what we prayed for constantly for the pictures to mean something so before you listen to the album we prayed for the pictures to touch you to speak to the theme of the album and for you to be able to recount what God has done for you through those pictures as well so now would you like to speak about the second part of our photo shoot which was the water photo shoot and yes. that will be coming up very soon because we have to go to the location for it to be a bit more poignant and the, the explanations to be a bit more tangible yes and um visual yes and, and I, I don't know about you but at this photo shoot i remember i got bitten by sand flies i did step in some cow excrement they yes. were very generous i call them autographs here. you see because the cows are leaving a little bit of themselves yes they were being generous you autographs mm. we, we can't help but just be touched by their kindness <laughs> we're so touched and here comes one now he's coming it's coming this oh direction. it's oh dad the cows are all coming home oh look at that <gasps> then look whoa all god's children are coming home okay so let's away. let's come down here so we can catch come down this side the cows coming this way Uh, girls, come to the van. Just come to the van. Come quickly, 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 quickly. <laughs> come this way. Come this way, girls. Right, right here. I want to let you record me. Stop, 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 stop. Stop right there. I want to let you record me right here. Hi. Bike is coming. Wow. Are we going to the other side? We need um, finger um, lighting that. We need to have um, lighting that doesn't need to be closed. Those long come on, come on. This was one of those things that we kept on praying about. And you know, sometimes you're praying and you're not really getting the answer and you're not feeling as if you are you are connecting as if something is just a miss as nice third nice third you know praying about this 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 whole picture shoot and we keep we kept praying but you know sometimes you're praying and you're not feeling as if there's a level of connection you you want to get some answers but it's just not coming at one point we thought about you know let's have this on top of a mountain and then 
we thought of it. Maybe it's it's one of those mountains just just filled with sand. You know, a whole lot of thoughts. We are, we prayed about the outfit, what it is that God wanted us to do with the outfit, the location, until we just watched Him put things together time and time and time again, until it just it just blossomed into something that was so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, bless it, bless it. Hi, I'm Colette and I'm a dressmaker by profession. Just to let you know that I've been sewing for the foster triplet for the past six years. Um, it has been a very good relationship between me and the girls. We had talk about any and everything. Um, leading up to the photo shoot, um, I was asked to do some white dresses. I was a bit struggling for how this thing would have come out because I was wondering why white and then to know that it was going into the water I was wondering how would the outcome of the dress would look like so I, I struggled a bit um, sometimes I lie in my bed and I said my god how is this thing going to come true but eventually by talking to the Lord and I prayed about it when they came and they fit the dress wow I was amazed I did not believe it would look so good um, I am so happy that they are pleased and when I looked at the, the beginning of the photo shoot, I was amazed. I could not believe that the dress would have fit in so well. I am so proud. What I do normally when the girls come and they fit, I know when they are pleased and I know when they are not pleased. Um, and I can recall a time when they came to fit a dress and I realized they were behind the, 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 the room and they weren't coming out. And I was wondering, what is taking them so long and then I hear mom and I know that tone of voice I know there was something that they weren't pleased about but I'm happy that we could have fixed it and the end of the end product was so 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 good um after doing the dresses I normally send them to another bread brother who does the steam press his name is Andrew Davis formerly known as Mr. Chin so I'd call Mr. Chin he would take it from there iron it and then send it straight on to mom and dad I know my girls will rock the, the, the work that I do because they, they, they know what they want when they come with their styles they know exactly what they want so I don't have a problem the only problem I have is ensure that it fits and it fits properly right so the girls mentioned quite adequately about the online one and us recording as a family and the colors. I mean, I just watched on the day when we were recording, it was sunny. And then all of a sudden, we noticed that the clouds started coming over. And we said, Oh God, please don't let it rain, don't let it rain. The Lord knew that we wanted a cool environment, so He allowed it to be cloudy. It was a little windy but the clouds came in right on time to cool down the place and would you believe it no rain fell the rain fell other places but it, the Lord kept it from falling where we were and then by the time we were finished shooting the pictures here and when we went over to the river the Sun came out just what we needed in order to get the right pictures. Just to stick up in there, I was praying for the sun, to, for the sun to kind of go down a bit, and for there to be some shade because my eyes are very sensitive to sunlight. Right. And I squint a whole lot, so having the sun out, it would have made my eyes hurt even worse the day afterwards. So I was very, very, very thankful. So the Lord, He knew what we needed. Yes. He knew the color. He knew the design. He knew the location. And he allowed everything to work out in his time and that's a message to many of us sometimes we ask God for things and it's not working out and sometimes we feel dejected just keep on praying and keep on believing because he works things out for our good and we saw this happening for the picture shoot in so many different ways and the even support that we needed from my sister Shelley and Marquin's brother Horace, it was just it was just amazing how God worked.
and you can see by far it is the most interesting of all of them so how the idea came for us to do a water shoot was that I was thinking about um, the trials that we encounter on or in, in, in the process of reaching our destination and I thought that very strong um, winds and waves would be very symbiotic or, or synonymous rather with our message, with our message. Right. and so I was thinking about the um, what's the name of this river? Uh, this is Roaring River. This is Roaring River and you can see it is very, it stays true to its name, it's very coarse and very um, tempestuous. tempestuous and so I thought that we could do a really nice photo shoot here. The, the, um, my first thought was that we were just going to put our feet in the water. Yes. But then we got submerged up to here. And then I thought that would do it. And, and then, then Dad decided that we were not um, submerged, enough. submerged enough. We weren't really showing what the theme was trying to encompass. So that started throwing water at us. So my hair got wet and everywhere else got So, hence the video that you saw on Instagram, everybody. That was what was going on at the moment when Dad was splashing us because he said, you're going all the way down in the water. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Also, one of the things that, that, that helped us to pick this theme was the Bible verse that spoke about when you pass through the fire, um, you will not be burned. When you go through the water, it shall not overthrow you. Overflow. Uh, over, overthrow, I think. Overflow. Say. Overflow, right. It shall not overflow you. <laughs> so this was by far one of the most interesting... Um, the most interesting, not by far. It the was most the most interesting, interesting photo, shoot. photo shoot we have ever, ever done. That is the most adventurous we have gotten. So we have to say thank you to Tucson Photography for his amazing work. Um, in portraying, in portraying what we were looking for, he got um, onto one of the rocks. He got onto one of the rocks. Which rock was it, Dad? One was of the rocks here, but his feet were wet. He went right down into the water, and I mean, the water is cold. It's cold. So it takes dedication to stand in water and photograph three wet people. <laughs> but what I really loved about this photo shoot was that. Um, it didn't portray us not being in water or that we were not struggling in the water. We were net deep in the water, which means there was there are trials, that there are stuff that we are actively going through. Right. But the light that we were looking at was shining down on us, which means that God was still present in our circumstance. He was still present even though the water was really rushing. I remember I was standing on that rock and I fell a few times because there's a rope. If you can look carefully, that rope over there, 
that's the one that we held onto where we would have been swept downstream. So that's the, all three of us held onto that rope in order to, to, stay, to grounded. stay grounded so we could take the picture. So and that also helped with the, the with the struggle, if you will. Uh, Malaika was going all over in the water. Sometimes she fell over. You went under a couple times. Yes, and um, it's really uncomfortable to get cold water in your throat. It just makes it sore. But at that moment, I mean, it was still fun. It was very, very fun. And I think at that at that time, the theme became even clearer to me. And the album, the, the God's leading in the album became very clear to me because I was thinking I would, we would have never thought of this idea before. All the last picture shoots that we did all surrounded us standing together like this. <laughs> But this one, we really wanted to, it to make a, a statement and a message to what the album was about. And I really believe that the Holy Spirit was um, leading in this picture shoot as well. So I remember when I was trying, well, I was helping mom to find uh, photographers who could bring this theme to life. So what I started doing was looking for photographers who already were familiar with a watch water theme and by God's grace I was able to find someone who already knew what that was like so they would be able to bring that theme that theme to life. Uh, so first off let's start by seeing uh, my name is Jason Barnett and I was a photographer on the Foster Triplets photo shoot. Um, it was really a good experience. Uh, let me start by saying that um, I didn't know it was the foster triplets that I'm going to be shooting until a few days before the event um, when I think it was the dad that mentioned it was going to be them and then right in and there I recognized them because my mother listened to them a lot and she has a CD so I recognized the pictures and everything from the album cover but um, when they told me the idea that, that they had and they wanted to bring forward to life um, I was excited about it, I was excited and um, when I got there, we did it in uh, Westmoreland, along the countryside, close to a river, and we made use of some horse uh, that you will see on the cover, and um, it was fun. I think I was able to bring what they wanted to life, and um, I'm excited about it, just as much as them. Um, from there, we went on to the river to get some more shots, wanted to really show the struggle that um, they were speaking of on the album and um, how to come out of the struggle so you know it was a beautiful process and um, I wish them all the best my name is Jason Barnett again and um, my company is Two Sound Photography so you can follow us like and uh, big up to the Foster Triplets <laughs> for us we're back to this um, to this place for the first time after the photo shoot yes. and I want to swim now but it, it can't happen now because we have so much more to do so we thank you all for joining us for this little walk down memory lane aka behind the scenes as we also reminisce about what happened and also the providence of God and, and his leading in, 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 in putting this album together and also the cover together because it was it just when we actually saw the finished product it was very clear that the Lord was leading in this hello 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 my name is Francis Brahma I'm from Ghana a graphic and a website designer um, I handle the Foster Triple their graphics and website design and also I'm proud to be part of this team Thank you for starting Plate for giving me the opportunity to be part of this team. I'm proud of you and proud of this team as well. Thank you for the great work you are doing out there and God bless you. Make sure you purchase their new album coming out. Grace carried me here. Stay tuned. Um, for me, this was really our first, uh, first experience of a photo shoot of that nature. Um, we have had photo shoots before but that one really added something special because as mentioned by, by Nicole and the girls we wanted this to be a story not just a regular shoot 
but a shoot that tells a story so when you open that album as a matter of fact before opening the album when you look at the front cover you will see a story just with that first picture when you open the front cover and and just for a little information the cd is actually a six panel cd so it actually has six pages in a sense and there there's a lot of information that it carries and in that cd there are many different there well there are actually five pictures and each picture tells its own story so in order to really see this we're going to be very deliberate in not showing you those pictures at least not now we'll wait until after the cd the album has been released so that the people who purchase they will get the opportunity to actually see the pictures and they don't they will not feel as if they have been cheated so we will be very deliberate in not showing you those pictures but i guarantee you this album will touch many lives not because we were a part of it but because we know that the holy spirit was fully involved in this project uh, the selection of songs the the, the 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 whole process the persons who worked on the process um there would have been two persons who worked on this project with us who are not christians but even with that the entire project was blessed i believe and i can speak directly for one of the persons who worked on the project who is not a Christian at various times during the studio we would hear him singing we, we, we saw him just pull back his chair and close his eyes and it's as if he was in the songs as well and so even while we were there recording we were praying for him that in the recording process he would have made a decision to accept Jesus um, through some, some something in, 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 in the recording you know so so we're really thankful um, for this experience and we're just so excited to be able to share this project with you and Mark Rain, as you mentioned that he even said you know these songs are so great and, and to one, at one point he, he further mentioned boy you touch me I, I, I'm really yes. thinking of yes he did he mentioned directly yes. that you know the songs the songs are really touching him yes. and it, you could see it as if there was a struggle, struggle. <laughs> <laughs> you know but we're still praying for him and we'll ask you to help pray for him that he will eventually give his life totally to Christ Amen Alright so we are in the party triplex and we'll see you next time Bye.